quarter CTO, in D.2.4, minus green. There's got to be a wetter way, a wetter, wetter way. No, <laughs> there probably is a wetter way to hold your gels. That was a terrible cold open. Rig job! Yeah. And boom, boom. A hillbilly grip truck. Yeah. I, I hate gel management. I hate the way most grip trucks manage their gels. You have tube after tube and slots. But the reason it's such a pain in the butt for them is they're dealing with gels that need to cover four by four frames. They need to go in front of 10Ks. They need to be a nice distance away from a 10K so they don't melt. If you're a Gorilla Grip or Gorilla Lighting guy, then you don't have to have big gels. So what I've come up with is this, the gel management system, GMS. I just made that up. So what I did is I went and bought, now you can't buy this anymore, but you can buy something similar, so calm down. Uh, you can go to B&H, and I got this filter sets from Bogan, and it had a bunch of different ones, vivid colors, cool, warm, diffusion, variety, tungsten conversion. Um, Roscoe sells sets like that, uh, and um, Lee sells sets like that. Some weird brands you never heard of sell sets like that, so it's still available. Now what these are, they're considered like samples. They're 12 by 12 inch gels, or one foot by one foot. And for the real hardcore professionals, that's not good enough. If you're shooting LED lighting, if you're shooting HMI lighting, you don't need to have the gels really far away. You're not gonna overheat them. And so I've been able to keep the same set of gels for years, like six years now or something, and haven't lost a one. Now, what's great is this, is my inability to continue a thought from the beginning to the end. No, what's great about these is it had like a table of contents because on the one pack they had listed all the different gels that come in all the different packs numerically. So if you need straw or middle rows, or if you're looking for some steel blue cool colors, 117, it's 117. I just arranged them in numeric order. Each one of these has on the corner of the gel the number taped to it. And if it doesn't, then do that when you get some gels. Now this, really convenient sleeved holder is a scrapbooking paper holder. Now I have no idea why if you're a scrapbooker, well first of all I don't understand what scrapbooking is all about, but apparently they want to carry around their paper organized before they scrapbook. So they need to like scrapbook on the go and drop everything or whatever. But the benefit for us is that these are beautiful little 12 by 12 holders that come in a binder that you can zip up. Um, you can buy similar things. Um, there's going to be a scrapbooking store in your town somewhere. It's usually called Scrappies or Bookies or Book Scrappers or something like that. So it's real nice. Instead of buying roll after roll and having to manage them, I highly recommend, even if you have gels, cut them down to sizes, put them into something like this. Now, I've got a bunch of ridiculous party gels in here, and they rarely come out, but sometimes they do. Can you make the background purple? Can you make it bright yellow? Can you make it blue? and you normally don't light that way for serious stuff. So it's handy having this assortment of rainbow colors. But in addition to that, I've got your quarter CTOs and your half CTOs and your CTVs and the stuff that you need just for conversions. It comes with a whole bunch of different stuff and I've added stuff to it. Um, I've even got some minus greens and some other stuff that I just put into here. There's also a little like accordion pocket here that I just can shove little random scraps that came from other things, some unlabeled CTs. So this has been super awesome, because now it means if I think they're gonna want me to gel, I grab this. Now, I only do daylight fixtures. That's my weird thing. I don't do tungsten fixtures anymore. It's been probably four years since I've gone into a house and had an actual, honest to God, tungsten lamp that I'm trying to match. It's always some horrible, LED or fluorescent trying to look like tungsten and it's a horrible color. So I end up just pulling those out and going daylight with everything. If you want tungsten, you have to warn me in advance and I got a tub of tungsten bulbs I'll bring with me, but you don't really want to do that. You don't need to do that. But with this and your daylight LEDs, you're covered. And you can take your bi-colored LEDs and you can, sh sorry, I probably shouldn't say that. I don't understand the whole point of a bicolored LED because you just get half the power and who the hell wants half tungsten, half daylight ever? You're gonna be tungsten or daylight, duh. So, anyway, so I'm sorry, I'm just going down to tangent. I hate bicolored fixtures. Um, that's not even part of this video, but I'm putting it in here and saying, if you make bicolored fixtures, to hell with you, I want a brighter light. But anyway, so if you want to organize your gels, this is just some kind of a rig job. That's not a rig job, that's just gels in a binder. Now who said that? Um, 
it's just a real convenient and, and smart way to carry your stuff around. And the fact that it zippers up means nothing ever falls out. And you can even hand this to some kind of a assistant or the guy that's like the cousin of the camera guy that wants to be a filmmaker and comes on set and breaks everything. You can even hand this to him and he's not going to screw it up. Well, most of them won't. Dwayne. But anyway, sorry. Sorry, Dwayne. Um, if you have any questions about other stuff in my truck or you want to affirm my life decisions, you can click subscribe and like and tell me down below all the awesome stuff you like about me. Just There's, there's plenty of room. You can just keep on adding stuff over and over. And if you want to read the stuff that I type about grip gear and my thoughts, you can go to hillbillygriptruck.com. And I'm Rig Job. This is Boon Boom. Thanks for watching.